Here are some tips to help improve your Roblox builds. Tip number one is colours. We have this building right here, but the colours are way too bright and don't work that well together. So if you select the parts, I then go to the properties window and click on colour. Then I'm going to move this cursor down to make it less bright. And then I'm going to use this bar at the side to change the darkness, just a bit though. And it depends on what kind of game you're making. For example, if you're making a realistic game, you'd probably want it to be darker and less saturated. But if you're making a low poly cartoony game, then you'd probably want it to be brighter and more saturated. And there are also some websites you can use to find colours that work well together. And we also have different modes, so you can find loads of different colour schemes and stuff like that. And there should be a link in the description if you want to try it out. But anyway, here's before and after. Now, let's move on to the next tip. Tip number two is textures. And I don't just mean like the default Roblox materials. There's a lot of free texture packs you can use. Like for low poly cartoony builds, I always use these two. Made by Dev for Hire and Flame Dev RBX. The link should be in the description. And for realistic builds, I always use this one, but I don't really know who made it. But if you search for realistic textures, then you should find one that looks similar or the same. Although I sometimes see people using textures, but the properties they use don't look that good. For example, we have this brick wall, which has a texture, but it's way too big and too visible. So if you select the texture, go into a properties window, and what we want to change is the studs per tile, U and V, and transparency. I'm going to change the studs per tile to a smaller number, which will make the texture smaller. Then for the transparency, I'm going to make it a higher number to make it less visible. And you can change these properties to whatever works best with whatever you're making. Tip number three is lighting. So if you have bad lighting, then that can ruin your builds. But there are quite a few things you can do to change it. For example, if you're making a realistic game, you could use a custom skybox, add some rays, and try out the future technology. And for a cartoony game, you could add in a custom skybox, add in a color correction to change brightness, contrast, and saturation. But if you find it hard, you can look up some tutorials which show you exactly what to add and which properties to change. Anyway, here's before and after. Tip number four is for rotation and movement. So if we head over to the model tab, we have this snap to grid window. Here you can change the rotate and move amount. Always make sure these two boxes at the side are always enabled, otherwise it'll turn off snap to grid and make it so the parts don't line up. So the higher the number, the more studs it'll move. I usually use 1 or 0.5 when I'm making bigger parts and 0.25 or 0.125 for smaller detailed parts. Here's an example of a build only using one stud movement and here's a build using multiple. Tip number 5 is use Blender. So you can use Blender to make things that you wouldn't be able to make just using Roblox Studio. Here's a map I made using Roblox Studio and here's a map I made using Blender and it will take a while to actually get good, like even I barely know how to use it, but there's a lot of tutorials which you can check out, and it's also free to download, and the link should be in the description. Tip number six is don't use free models, and a lot of you probably already know this, but they can sometimes have like hidden scripts inside of them, and it just looks a bit low quality, unoriginal. You can sometimes use them depending on what it actually is, like if you're using a free texture pack, or maybe if you're finding it hard making something, you could take a free model and just change it up a bit, but I recommend making them all yourself, and then that way you should improve, hopefully. Tip number seven is to look at inspiration. Maybe you don't know what to make, or your build just looks awful and you need some ideas. What you can do is check out some pictures of other people's builds, whether that's on Google or Discord servers. Just make sure you don't copy it exactly, since you're looking for inspiration, not to rip it off and copy it. So try changing some stuff and adding your own original ideas to it. And the final tip is to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. There should be links to everything I've mentioned in the video, as well as my Roblox group and Discord server. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.